So uh, this is a daily Sol USDT, right? As you can see, we've been, um, first of all, this is not looking bullish. This is looking bearish, looking like a bear flag. But if you want to buy support, with, uh, as you can, because it can still bounce, there's still room to go, first of all. So we can do something like this. It can also do something like this, break down and then go down. So how do you know which scenario is going to play out? Well, to do that, you're going to have on a lower time frame. So if you're uh, looking at the daily and you think this is support, you want this to take out some kind of major level. So, for example, if we start closing above this level, we have a bullish candle close. Maybe you can buy that with your stop being here because otherwise it can just do the sideways, sideways and do another uh, go even lower. A safer route uh, would be actually to simply uh, buy a trend line break. It's obviously not as good as uh, as uh, buying uh, at these levels, right? But uh, the probability goes, you pay for the probability because once you have the, uh, well, in previous example, when it did that, the basis, basically you're looking for this scenario. Because then, yes, you, you didn't buy it right here, but you bought it right here. But there is still plenty of risk to reward upside. Same thing, previous breakout here. Again, same scenario. Similar scenario here, right? So uh, I highly suspect we still might be going down to this daily trend line here. And then when you see a breakout candle like this, like this, like this, uh, that's when you go long. So you have to wait for the candle to close on a four hour, one hour basis, and then uh, go long. Obviously, otherwise, you, if you're just going to be buying here, it can go down here and might not stop. It just crash. So blast through the trend line. So that's uh, that's how you should be looking to get long in the situations where um, uh, instrument so the price is coming into some support area. Let's see. So... So uh, this might be it, actually, right? If this is the lower, uh, let's do it like this. Jeez. Uh, so if you think it's going to start bouncing again, uh, wait for the breakout. You see the breakout, you, uh, chances are we're still going to, there is still going to be plenty of upside left retesting these highs here or above. You can also go half size and add another half size when you see a breakout of uh, this, because you're on a one hour time frame on a daily. As you can see, this is <clears throat> this scenario here. So you can buy half here or two thirds and add more once we take out this trend line. Why? Well, because same thing was happening again here. As you can see, this was the similar scenario. You could have bought the trend line breakout here. And then when it uh, broke out uh, here, you could have added. So, and in, in fact, let me just show you uh, on a short term time frame. So, this was the immediate breakout that you bought. So let's say two thirds. And then you can see that once it took out this major one, you can add even more. And then you have all of this as an upside. So similar scenario <clears throat> is here again. So you buy first, you buy this trend line break, maybe two thirds, and then add one third 
uh, once you take out this, and that's how you build your position targeting. Uh, you might you might take off some uh, profit around these levels or wait for new highs, depending on what uh, the markets are doing in uh, days to come. So it'll take some time to play out. But basically, hope this little lesson helps how to buy support and not just blindly leave orders because you want to wait for a reaction around certain levels. Hope it helps. Enjoy.